What's up page masters cool guy designs here gonna do a quick tutorial on how to create multiple page sizes in a single InDesign document Let's get started Okay, let's just go to file new to create a new document go to document uh, Let's change it from pikas. No one knows what pikas are anymore um, Width eight and a half by eleven just keeping everything default hit create Okay, if you uh your workspace doesn't look like mine uh, you can go to window workspace essentials I'm just going to hit reset essentials so uh, we're seeing the same exact thing. Okay, we just have a single page right now. Um, we can go to pages and hit two. Uh, they look a little weird and offset right now. That's because uh, they are facing pages. So if we go back to properties and go to facing pages, just click that off. And now uh, we're working with two distinct spreads. Um, so your uh, instinct here. We have this first page like we want, eight and a half by eleven. Uh, we want this second page to be just a, a square. Let's just do eleven by eleven. Your instinct might be to go back to properties, go to the width, change it to eleven. But that changes both of our document sizes, so that's not what we want to do. Um, then you can try to you know go back, you know, change the first one to eleven, see what that changes. Doesn't really do anything different. Um, and yeah, you're gonna get really frustrated because you don't know what to do. Uh, and that's fine. Um, I've seen some tutorials talk about going here and uh, making new parent pages. We'll just make a parent B at 11 by 11. And then applying that parent to one of our pages. We'll just apply it to the first one. And that that's a way to do it. Now we have an A parent and a B parent that is applied to both of these pages. But you don't really have to do that. Um, you can just create a new page like this um, and then you can go down here to edit page size and let's just create a business card something really tiny and you can just um, you know do it from there and that parent is still applied but you have a different page size um, you can you know do that however many times you want you can even go to custom and you know make something you know pretty crazy let's just do five by like 25 something something really long yeah something like that um, and yeah um, that's just how you do that um, if you want to, you can just you know apply no parent to these, just so it doesn't get messed up, and you still have your parent pages if you want to use them. Uh, but yeah, this is just a you know kind of a simple process thing that's not very obvious. So um, decided I would make a quick tutorial on how to do it. Um, so yeah, that's how to do multiple page sizes in a single InDesign document. Thanks for watching. Bye.